of an international student. The quiet of an international student. Right, What a day to be a Toastmaster. Happy birthday. And for all you amazing people, I want you all to give yourself a big round of applause. This is my first ever conference, and I cannot believe that I already feel part of this amazing family, District 24. To get you guys started, I have a question for you all. Please raise your hands if you have ever traveled abroad. A full house? I have got all your answers to all your problems that you might have faced or will face if you ever travel abroad. There's a science behind cultural shock. I often wonder to myself, okay, I'm here. But what did I go through for the past two years when I was going to school? Well, there are four stages of cultural shock whenever you travel to a new country. The first phase is the honeymoon phase. The second is the phase of frustration. The third is the understanding phase. The fourth, the acclimation phase. Back in 2013, I put in my applications while I'm, I am in my undergraduate school back in India for a master's degree at UNL. I do not know if I'll ever make it. There are a lot of other talented students who were applying for the same school. Probably my dad could not afford the education that I wanted. So I always wondered, will I get that scholarship? January 2014. The postman knocks at my door. I get goosebumps. I take the letter from him, and I call my mom. Mom! I think this is it. It was the letter from the University of Nebraska with an admission letter in it and tuition fee waiver. And oh boy, it was my day. I went out and Shout it out to the world. Hey, America, I'm coming. <laughs> I did sound like a crazy person to my friends for a couple of weeks because I bragged about America for one week straight, and I wasn't even there. <laughs> a conversation with my mom comes to my mind. I'm in my room packing my bags a night before I'm ready to board my flight to the land of my dreams. My mom knocks at my door. Son, can I come in? Yes, mom, sure. I want you to know that we have always been proud of you. And we don't want you to do this just because you want to prove anything to us. That moment melted my heart. It gives me goosebumps till this day. I told my mom, Mom, I love you, but I need to do this to see what I'm made of and see what life has in store for me. I packed my bags and jumping and skipping, I am at the airport. Oh boy, it was a feeling. I was there ready to check in my bags looking at the moist eyes of my parents. There is no stronger feeling than knowing that you have somebody there for you, no matter what happens. I could fail, I could come back the very first week being homesick, there would not be a sigh of judgment, judgment in their eyes. I gave them a last hug, I let go of my bags, and I asked myself, are you ready? Oh boy, the answer was, hell yeah! <laughs> and I boarded my flight. 14 hours sitting like a pigeon in a pigeon cage with other pigeons, 
we all know about the leg room problem. We all want that. But economy doesn't get you that. I got to the Epley Air Field. Oh, it was real. I felt it. I was there. There was a gentleman waving at me. Hey, you might be Russian. Yes. Well, nice to meet you. I took a step back. I don't know you. My mom told me I should talk to strangers. <laughs> well, I know you. And that's how it is in Omaha. I hold my bag tightly and I talk to the gentleman. Turns out, him and a lot of other people who didn't even know me said hi to me were just being socially polite. <laughs> it was all because the city I come from, you walk past strangers. You don't talk to them. The phase of frustration striked in. Moments of joy and happiness and love and the feeling of Oh boy, America's better than what they show in the movies. It's gone. <laughs> I was in school. Oh boy, I had school assignments. I didn't have a social life. What am I doing with my life? December 2014. I had one coat that I could afford to buy. And I wrap myself up as I walk up to the bus stop. Oh yes, public transportation. I used that all my life in India, and boy, I did never, ever catch a bus here. <laughs> all wrapped up, I reach my college, and I wonder, was it all worth it? Going through all this pain? I would have such an amazing life back home. My parents are there, my friends are there. Why am I doing this to myself? And something kept pushing. All of a sudden, my problems, became an opportunity for me to move forward. And that's when I knew things were gonna change. I started becoming part of the community. I became the first Indian student to be part of the UNO Global Diplomats program that involved other students, and I encouraged other students to go forward, live their dreams, and live that feeling of being intellectually and socially involved. Mr. Tosin.